gonna make the profiles boom, 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 boom. What they is, I'm gonna tell you exactly what it is. What it is is real talk and real life by a real one. Yes, we're really gonna do some shit right here. What it isn't and what it ain't ever gonna be is added preservatives in the Kool-Aid. So that's okay. Hey, this doesn't taste good. It's because I didn't put sugar, put though I don't add preservatives. It is what it is. Anyways, as you can tell by that thumbnail right there, yes, indubitably, man. Here's a question that's been asked many, many times, and here's an answer I'm going to give you one time for your mind, right? Trip out in a minute. We'll start in a direct fashion. I'm going to get straight to it. I'm going to say it with my chest, and I'm going to get straight to it because I'm not going to play no games. You know, I get tired of being accused of being prejudiced or being racist or being one way or the other or, or, or you're pushing a certain agenda. What about me, man? What about me? What about you, motherfucker? I don't, you know what I mean? It's not that I don't care about you. It's about you're worried about yourself more uh, the way you look, Holmes, than the way you got them shook. Now, trip out. I come from a motherfucking, uh, a land of respect. Respect first and foremost. So I don't disrespect anyone. Hey, I never did anything to anyone who never had it coming to them. Or did I? One never knows does one. But nowadays, I don't tend to do that, right? I tend to treat everybody with a whole lot of respect. A whole lot, a lot of respect. I got a whole lot of mouth. I got a whole lot of mouth, right? Um, the word Africano. You know, I get asked several times over and over again on repeat. Gunner, why do you Mexicans say the word Africano, right? Um, that's disrespect. We ain't from Africa. Well, why do you say the word Mexican, sums? We ain't all from Mexico. Is that disrespect, Charlie Holmes? Um, we are derived from Mexicanos. You know, if you're Chicano, if you identify as Hispanic, Chicano, Mexicano, uh, Mexicano, Americano, uh, whatever you identify as, um, run with that. Okay, it's not disrespect. Now, if you call him a beaner, if you call him a the fuck wet bag, if you call him you know what I mean? Then, okay, so if it's on Latino Holmes, we're taking that as disrespect. You're taking these derogatory words, Holmes, and you're fucking applying them to a people and saying, we ain't going out like that, okay? I know at least I ain't, um, and the people around me don't. Now, um, when I say Africano, you got to understand that I've been incarcerated half my life. Um, ever since a young child, 11 years old, Holmes, I was incarcerated. And everything that I learned for the most part was had some type of prison attachment, had some type of CYA attachment to it, um, I learned how to live my life in there so it affected later on my life the way I live out here. It made me the man I am today, okay? It made me, it gave me a true understanding of being around different types of people, different types of cultures, different types of individuals. See, not a lot of people get that. So they don't understand. They don't understand the Africano community. They don't understand the brown community. They don't, sprinkle them in. They don't understand the woods because they've never done time with them. They've never had to talk to them. They've never been on them yards during Yerra wartime. They don't understand what it is uh, like to be around a, a certain type of people, Humps, that will fucking tear your whole shit off. Mascara gone, right? Um, from every side. Now, I have. I've done time. I know what it is to chop it up with an A-Trey Gangster Crip. I know what it is to talk to, talk to a bottle from fucking Denver Lanes or Inglewood. You know, I know what it is to talk to a 415 Kumi, a Jama, a BGF. Yeah, I know exactly what time it is to talk to a Sureño, a Camarada, a South Sider, Holmes, a Vato fucking of higher status. I know what it is to talk to a Nazi lowrider or a Wood because I've been on yards with certain individuals or in shoes or in oils. So I know what it is to chop it up, to fraternize, Holmes, to do uh, bottles for one another. Hey, can you, hey, 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 hey young northerner, what's up, homie? Can, can you pass my linea? Orale, I got you, homes. You know what I mean? Can you clear the freeway? Yes. For those of you that don't know what it is, refer to the Encyclopedia of Incarceration. Bam. Google it. We got you. Right? Um, but you know what I'm saying? So I've been around a lot of people. So um, the word Africano was a word that not necessarily we used in the beginning, but the brothers used. Okay, let me, let me explain something to you. Um, when you're incarcerated as a gang member or as being part of an organization, what happens is you... You start to educate yourself. You start to educate yourself in the history of your people. You start to educate yourself in the art of war. You start to educate yourself in certain things, man, and practices that are going to benefit you when you get out or could have benefit you while you're incarcerated. That's the way it is. You're highly encouraged to sit your ass back, homes and read a good book. You know what I mean? Um, and it's not always the Bible. Okay? 
um, something that's going to stimulate your mind, something that's going to educate you is very much encouraged, right? They're, you're Read the book, bitch, right? That's what they say, right? Um, in so many words. Now, um, if you're a striver, if you're anyone that wants to be somebody within that group, you educate your mind. You can't get enough education. Education never stops. Sometimes I never start learning something. But you can't teach, teach your old dog new tricks. Well, shit, you can this one. I'm from Fred Norsen. Oh, right? Um, you can, definitely. Um, and it's up to you to educate your mind. So everybody gets in touch with their culture. Okay, you got Norteños that start speaking Nahuatl, right? You got Southsiders who speak a different dialect. Um, communication. Communication is key, right? And it's up to the gente around you um, to figure out how they're going to decipher that and how they're going to go about that. And one thing the Mexicans, uh, the Chicanos have learned while incarcerated is that we have to form some type of line of communication. And we like to go back to the ancient Aztec, the ancient Mayans, the ancient Incas, the ancient indigenous people, the mestizos, all the people. We like to go back and take some of that culture with us and, and, and start speaking the languages, learning the languages. It's just getting back in touch with one's roots. Can't be mad at that, right? Well, the African brothers like to do the exact same thing. They start speaking Swahili. They start teaching Swahili. You know, I learned a little. Jijidi, jainawi, mojanane, jainmasaku, asante, kitu, right? Um, just along the lines. And that's just me having the relationships with the brothers that I had. Um, that I started to pick up words in Swahili. Communication is key in prison. Okay? Um, so they started to call themselves Africano brothers. It was some of my African brothers, right? You know, when they do the shutdown, I like to my African brothers, to my Norteño partners, you know what I mean? To my South Side home. Hey, this is called respect, okay? Busting down with the machine. It's Africans and Northerners and cops packing many 14s. Can't stop, won't stop. We in motion. Gotta stand strong. It was on in New Folsom. x rated said it himself, okay? Africans and Northerners busting down with the machine. So it's not a label or a disrespectful term that Mexicans are giving the Africano brothers. It's a way of saying black. It's a way of saying African only in Spanish. Africanos. Okay? The brothers will tell you themselves. Ones that have been incarcerated. Ones that really know what the game is. They're not tripping off that. You know, it's not a disrespectful term. It's not like the N-word. Or it's not like fucking calling them something else, you know, that's just derogatory. It's basically, hey, the Africanos over here. The woods are over here. You know what I mean? The, the, the Southsiders are over here. The homeboys are over here. Norteños or whatever the case may be depending on what fucking group you're on, right? The bulldogs are like, the enemies are all over there, and we're right here. And that's just how it is. Um, a lot of people ask me the question, well, why do you say Africano so much? Would you much rather I say the N-word? Or would you much rather I just don't say nothing at all? See, that's trying to seal my voice up. That's trying to let my voice not be heard. I'm not doing it to be disrespectful. I'm actually being very respectful. I'm getting in touch with your culture, my brothers, right? I could say there's a black man over there. And that's fine. But I've run into a lot that don't identify themselves as black men. You know, I'm an African-American, brother. You know what I mean? Well, shit, what do you, what do you want me to say, brother? You know what I mean? It's kind of like the Mexicans. Just one guy, you say, hey, what's up, man? You a Mexicano? Charlie Holmes, I'm a Chicano. I don't see the difference, but fuck it, right? What are you? I'm a Mexicano, Americano. Oh, well, fuck, that's too long to say, homie. You know, I might not, my R's might not roll right, right? Fuck that. What are you? I'm Hispanic. I ain't never heard that shit, but... You know, I mean, I'm just throwing it in there for flavor. No added preservatives. Anyways, in a menudo style, what I'm saying is when I say the word Africano, I say it from a fucking, a, a place of respect. Okay. Um, anybody who's not been incarcerated or anybody who doesn't look into culture and history wouldn't know these things. You know, um, I know a, a younger uh, brother will say, you know, I mean, I take it as disrespect. We ain't from Africa. We're from America. Our people are from here. Yes. But you're derived from that continent. You're derived from the motherland, Holmes. You know, when, when you talk, it's, it's, it's weird. You can't have your fucking cake and eat it two hours. Sometimes you can. Okay. Um, but in some cases, like you talk to a brother, man, and I've talked to brothers. We've had extensive conversations, man, historical conversations. You know, I remember there was this one homeboy from 60s. From, he was a, a 60s crip out of South Central. Man, me and him used to chop gang. It's very, very highly intelligent individual. IQ way out there, right? Smart. And we used to chop game. And he used to tell me, um, he used to say, yeah, you know, he goes, you know, I consider myself of African descent. So I consider myself an Africano. I said, yeah, he goes, just like you consider yourself a Mexicano, uh, Mexican descent. 
Now, I know we're born here. I know our families were generational. We're here. Motherfucker, we didn't ask to come here, but we're here, right? Um, so we got to make do with what we got. I said, understandable. He said, now, at the same time, homes, if I'm out here banging 60 South Central LA, homes representing, you know what I mean? And then I want to get locked up and talk about this ain't my land. I'm from, nah, I'm, I'm from 60. So I'm, I'm from California. This is where I'm from. And I said, okay, all right. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'll hold. Just uh, education. Knowledge you definitely can't get in college. Um, and so he would go on and on, so on and so forth, right? But he always took it back to his roots and said, but you know, I'm always going to have love for my people. Whether they, the whether the black men in America, man, identify with the African-American or the African people from Africa, it's neither here nor there. Do you think everyone's going get, to get along? Now, I know, you know, typically people uh, say, you know, African people don't like uh, the black people of America, right? Well, the same thing goes for Mexico. <laughs> you think the, the Paises, you think the Mexicanos love the Chicanos? Fuck no. Plasticos, el pochos, y todo más, right? We get all kinds of labels. Um, and it's, and it's a form of jealousy. It's a form of, 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 they're just not caring. But that doesn't mean you don't love your people where you're derived from. The indigenous hint that we come from deep down in the jungles. <laughs> Say it with your motherfucking chest, right? Um, you gotta have love for your people. You gotta know your history. Now, I will say this, when I say the word Africano, it's not to disrespect anyone. You know, it's actually the ultimate form of respect. You know, when I say, hey, you are a black man in America, right? That is a label that was given to you by the white man. Just the same thing when they say, hey man, that's a brown man in America. Why do we have to be defined by color? Mm -hmm. You didn't think I was that smart, huh? Bang, bang. I'm smarter than a motherfucking bitch. So, ba, da, ba, 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 ba. I'm a little bit smart, right? Um, Just because the wind's blowing. Why do we have to be defined by color? Why does the white man have to be the white man? Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I don't like being defined by a color, humps. I'm not a fucking color crayon. I'm not a fucking magic erase marker. Do I look like a Sharpie? I said, I mean, my people's bigger than that, right? I don't, I don't do the Sharpie shit, right? I don't do um, color definition, okay? Yes, I'm a brown man. You know, and I consider myself a brown man. That's because my skin is brown, right? But at the end of the day, Humps, you know, I'm a Mexicano. I'm derived from the deep down in the dark jungles of Zacatecas and Juarez, right? Uh, my family comes from them. They come from Frontera. They come from the forest, Humps. They come from fucking real motherfuckers out there getting it with toes like that, climbing trees and shit. Um, and the same thing goes for the Africano brothers. They are derived from the beautiful fucking continent of Africa, right? You know, a lot of people say... Well, life started in Africa and we could prove it, right? And I'll say, cool, you know what I mean? I'll, I'll hear you out. Shit, I ain't mad at you. Um, I'm never going to deny the undeniable. I'm never going to deny um, history and what you can prove and what you can't. I'm going to sit back and I'm going to listen. I'm going to soak game, homes, and I'm going to decipher for what it is, right? Um, but you can't say, oh, life, we all come from Africa. This is where we all come from. And then later on say, but we're not African. Well, hold on now, motherfucker. What, are, what is it? You know what I mean? You got me all fucked up over here. I'm over here trying to get gamed up, Humps, and you, you fucking the game up. You know? So, um, when I say the word Africanos, when you hear people like Dubs, Rojo, Flaco, whoever the case may be, when you hear all of us say the word Africanos, I think we're all doing it from a place of respect, ultimate respect. Um, you wouldn't know unless you were incarcerated. You wouldn't know unless you got educated along them lines. So I know, I understand a lot of people that have never been incarcerated, never did no real time in the California Department of Corrections or any other state prisons wouldn't understand, you know, and you would automatically assume that it's some disrespectful term, but it's not. It's far from that. It's basically saying the word Africans in Spanish, Africanos, just like you say Mexicans, you say Mexicanos. That's all it is, right? Um, you know, you know, we people say hey, the essays. Right? The essays. Now let's 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 take that for instance. Why the essays? Right? The essays because Mexicanos traditionally down south, even up north, man. You know, I know a lot of you youngsters don't know, you know, you used to saying N and all that, but prior to 1992 when we started establishing that, um, it used to be essay. I still say essay all the time, right? It's just a word that comes out of my mouth. It's in my vocab, homes. It's always gonna be that. I'm a cholo like a motherfucker, right? So I'm gonna say essay. Um, and it's so over time in LA and down south, you know, the Africano brothers hearing the word essay gave us the fucking nickname, the essays. Did we see it as a bad thing? Charlie Holmes, we ran with it. You know what I mean? But let's look at it if the coin was flipped on the other side. Orale, right? What if we said the N words, right? Well, y'all call yourselves that. Why y'all tripping, right? Nah, nah, nah. Respect. 
respect because we don't see ese as derogatory, but we know the N-word is derogatory. We know that traditionally, right? So we're a respectful people that are not going to go that route. There might be guerra. There might be war, homes. Motherfuckers might get certain tattoos on them that say certain things and people might disrespect each other, homes. But when the big grand scheme of things, for the most part, most of the citizens and most of the people are not about fucking colorblind and, 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 and hate. Most people are about coming together for power and the push for social status of equality, at least the people that I'm around, real ones, you know? I mean, that's just the way it is. You know, you can't stop war, homes. When war happens, it happens, you know, on all fronts, on all sides. And everyone's going to fucking play their piece of the puzzle and everyone's going to have their reasoning behind it. And everyone's going to be looking for victory. But at the end of the day, there can only be one winner, you know, and that's just how it is. You know, I'm not here to fucking gospel and preach to fucking rock the good rhyme. I'm here to just tell you the fucking way it is on some real life shit, right? Um, and that's what it is. So when you ask me questions in my DMs like, Gunner, you need to stop saying, or you're trying to state, make statements. Stop saying the word off the Gunner. You're disrespecting my people. Fuck you and fuck you twice, right? Because you don't know um, exactly your history. You don't know your culture, homes, And you don't know what the utmost level of respect I'm giving you. There's so many other things that I could say or that I could belittle or I could do that would be, make me less of a man and make me a sham and a fake, right? But I'm real, homes, and I was really laced up a certain way. This was not coming from Mexicans. Mexicans didn't teach me about the word Africanos. Africano brothers did. Old school OGs, JAMA, BGF. You know what I mean? They call themselves African because they are from an African descent. They always wanted to go back to the motherland. That was the political fight. The political fight for social status of equality, for equal rights and justice, right? But they never forgot where they came from. Just like Mexicans, we never forget where we come from. They might not want us back over there, you know, being Chicanos, but we know where we're from, right? Never forget where you're from, moms, or how you grew up. So I was scared, you know what I mean? From a dollar to a food stamp, food stamp to a dollar. You know what it is, man. Say what you chest on Pablo. That's just how it is. Anyway, so when that question is posed to me and it's asked, and I know it's going to be asked again just because motherfuckers want to be an asshole, there's your answer right there. That's why Mexicans say the word Africano and specifically myself. That's the way I was laced up. That's the way I was taught to show respect. You know, um, you know, I could say the Crips or the Bloods or or the Kumis, and, and I do individually. I'm going to say different group sex because that's what it is. But at the end of the day, man, as a whole, I see them as Africano brothers, man. Brothers that descend from Africa, you know, but are now here, whether they're placed here homes because they want to be or they don't want to be, hey, we're going to make the best of this motherfucker. We're going to rock it nonstop. Hey, we got to rock it nonstop. Oh, really? You know what it is. We ain't taking and talking. We're, we're rigging and rocking, right? And that's just what it is. And now, um, when it comes to the Mexican side of things, you know, if you truly in your heart believe that we're disrespecting you by calling you Africanos, then you got your fools mixed up like Brent would, because that's definitely not the intention. That's definitely not the case. Um, there's a lot of other things derogatory that we could say that we shouldn't say, that we shan't, we shall not, we will not, I will not, definitely in my vocab. You know, I got into it the other day, not got into it, but um, a good question was poised the other day on my live where, um, you know, there's a, 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 a Mexicano out of Oakland. And anyone that knows Oakland, the Bay Area, man, they're raised different. You know, Oakland is a brother's town. That's an Africano town right there. <laughs> Hit you with the spear one time, right? They ain't playing. Put your spear away, pocket, motherfuckers are... Fuck you, this East Oakland, cuz, right, blood, right? They, they ain't playing, man. Shout out some respects and love to my motherfucking Africano partners out there in Oakland. I got a lot of them, right? Uh, they're with the business. But a lot of the Mexicans that grew up in that area, man, have a certain language. There's a certain talk. It ain't a black talk or a brown talk. It's a Bay Area talk. It's a Oakland. It's some Oakland shit. So the N-word is used quite frequently by every race or by every different ethnicity, every different culture. It's just the way it is, man. I've known some straight vices that can't even speak a lick of English and they say the N-word. That's how it is out there. Does it make it right? No, it absolutely doesn't, right? But that's just the way it is in Oakland. Oakland is that one city where they does that because that don't stop, right? Um, now, he was saying it and I kind of was and there was people... Hey, he shouldn't be saying that. That's disrespectful. And I was kind of like, you know, in this situation, I understand where you're coming from. I myself don't condone it. I don't say it. But I'm not going to get this man at saying, you know, being a product of his environment and saying what he says. You need to understand when it comes to a town like Oakland, nothing excuses the unexcusable. But I will say that they fuck with shit. Spence on the theater. You know what I mean? Um, you know, you need, he needs to be kind. I told him, you're a grown man, Holmes. You've gotten away from a lot of your, your different ways, your gang banging mentality, your drug dealing mentality, allegedly. Things in that, of that nature, maybe it's time to get away from using that in your vocabulary and understanding that, yes, you're a product of your environment and I can't change you, um, but you have to look within yourself to be a better man and change yourself. 
because certain people feel a certain way and you don't want to offend anyone. That can cause tension between black and brown and that's definitely something we don't need at this point. Order that. Ask Tiger. Anyways, with that being said, man, that, there it is there. I hope I gave it to you straight up. That's why I say the word Africano. And guess what? Just because the wind's blowing, I'm going to always say the word Africanos, whether you like it or not. The Spence on Latina homes because it's not derogatory of anything. It's the utmost respect. We busting down with the machine. It's Africans and Northerners and cops packing many 14s. Can't stop. Well, you already know what it is, man. X-rated told you. You know, I'm just reiterating it. And it'd be like that sometimes. With that being said, I hope that you move smooth with a purpose. I hope that you get everything that you want coming to you. Remember, at the end of the day, it's all about struggling and striving for your familia. Ain't no one going to do it for you. They don't care if you're black or brown. Food stamps. That's it. It's food stamps. Bang, bang. If you like this, please hit that like and subscribe. If not, hit that thumbs down. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. I'm going to continue to strive and struggle for what I truly believe in. And that's the betterment and the social status of equality of all people. Because it takes people like me with the big old fucking boca to get it done, gente. Bang, bang. You know what it is. Shout out to my Africano brothers.